Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you my favorite way of painting a feather. Using my signature toothy technique, we are going to get some absolutely stunning results. Anyone can try this, let me show you how to do it. I very rarely have a craving for something, and I realize that I haven't done my signature feather for a very, very long time. My green feather was the first viral video on the channel. I kind of felt I need to revisit it with very unusual colors. I'm going to do it on a long canvas, 50 by 20, and I'm going to use colors I am absolutely not comfortable with, not at all. Reds and greens, so it might be tricky, but I do like a good challenge. The base color is going to be scarlet red, the very red red. This is the consistency, uninterrupted stream. So what's in it? One part of paint and it's all approximate. One part of Floetrol and I do use the British Floetrol called Overtrol. And one part of my pouring medium and I mix PVA glue with water 50-50 roughly. And if it's too thick I spray some water into it just like that and mix it again. And it's super important that all your paints have the same consistency. Then we will have Naples Yellow, color that I only used once and that was in the previous video, so please have a look. I really enjoyed it. It was a completely different work. It was a relief work 3D and I added white to it. I just wanted a really light version of this Naples Yellow. We will have gold and I don't remember using this one. Spell copper gold. And the last, even though it looks like it's plenty, these are only two colors. Thalo green and thalo blue in different proportions and I mix them all myself. Three different shades using the same colors. Oh, one more. Cadmium orange. Goodness me, these are strange colors. So as I said, red is going to be my base. I even don't remember making a painting with red background, to be honest. So it's going to be interesting. Before I, I put my canvas up, I'm going to prepare my special signature tools that I invented for my first video. So instead of swiping with a little bit of tissue, I created those little toothy bits that worked really well with this type of design. So I'm going to make a few. So we're going to swipe like this. And I can also swipe with just a piece of tissue like that for the beginning, but they are very, very useful. And I've noticed some people successfully use them later on. You can make those teeth bigger, wider or thinner. Putting my canvas a bit higher and this way so it's more comfortable. Okay, so stage one, red paint. I realized that probably makes sense to cover the edges with red first, just paint them so that I don't have to worry about the proper coverage later on. So just like that, super quick. Okay, ready for this. Oh my goodness. Okay, I think I'm happy with the consistency, yes. Oh. I've been using some subtle colors recently, so. And I'm slightly apprehensive, you know, with all the strange colors I've collected. Are they going to work together? Are we going to get some mud or not? I will torch some air bubbles. Not a single drip, yay! The hardest thing when you're making a feather is to just decide where the shaft will go. I had to turn it more towards myself and I'm going to use a chain just to first try out where I want it to go. Why am I using a chain? Because it's not stiff and it kind of moves gracefully. <laughs> Quite a long canvas so it's a bit I know we can't see that much, but that's okay for me. I just wanted to have a go. Well, which color shall we use for the shaft? I'll use the lightest one. So I'm going to dip my chain in this Naples yellow, and I'm just going to go gently over those lines. Oh, 
okay, I can breathe now. Nice angle. All right. Now it should be easier. I am just going to use the pipette. The pipette is probably two years old. I'll just reuse everything as you can see. And I am going to fill that line with more paint. Nicely went up. Okay, I might start with here. That, that makes a really nice ending. I don't worry now if it's not going to be perfect. That's fine. Making it a bit closer towards the middle. Ah, uh, my hand is shaking. I'm doing it on purpose a bit more. As this is my base color, it's kind of sinking in the red. I just want more of it. I like those colors together. I have some water ready for the chain and for the pipette, otherwise you won't be able to clean them. And you have to use isopropyl alcohol to clean them. I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to add drop of silicone to gold and this because this is the smallest amount that will do I'm not sure how to layer the paint so I'll just start with a little bit of bronze which seems to be like a neutral color <laughs> that should go well with both turquoises and orange You've noticed that there's no white. I'm not using any white. My white, well, let's just call it white. My white is this creamy yellow. Okay, so now these orange here. I will repeat it somewhere else as well, but... No, 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 no. It's not the end of the world, but annoying. Okay, so we've got a bit of orange. Now, this is the one with silicone, so... You will see some cells being created in a minute. That's a pretty blue. Imagining what kind of bird could have dropped that further. Uh, this is even lighter. Okay, so what's missing? Gold is missing. Absolutely. Gold can go with everything. Do you think that's enough? All right, I'll start with just the regular piece and I'll swipe towards here. Just want to see how, how much paint I've got if I need to add any more. So, dipping it down gently. Pretty, okay. My special tool. Look how pretty that works. I'm quite happy with the colors on the red at the moment. I want this section longer. pretty they look. Checking if I need to adjust anything, maybe add a bit more yellow here and a bit more this blue. It's pretty. And now I'm going to try and twist them a bit. Just like that. Ooh. I've decided to create the center a bit here, so don't worry. We'll fix it one side. That's why I'm taking a bit more paint from this side. Okay, it's quite tricky here. I think I went too far. So I'm going to swipe this way for a change. So this is going to be my midsection. I just wanted to have more space on this side. I just realized half a way through, but that's not a problem. Now we need to do this side. I'll definitely add more paint here. 
This technique is so much fun. Again, if I torch, we'll see. Now it's going to be easier because the section is bigger. I can always go over, create more lines. Now I think I need really thinner bits just to man maneuver that, that part. Really pretty, that one. Now just fixing some sections if you don't like a part. I think I might add a little bit more blue here. So what am I going to do? I'm going to dip this in blue and go over and just introduce some more color. I think we could add a couple more little wispy lines at the, at the very bottom. That's what the feathers will have. And now just the mid part. So now I need to really make it straight again. Okay, so that's it for this section. Let's just leave it to dry. It's dry and it was dry in, I would say, 12 hours, which is amazing. But time to embellish the mid part, the brachis, and maybe add some, some more feathery bits. It's getting thinner towards the end, just not so easy. It should be quicker. I wanted this feather different to the previous ones. So not only with red and cra crazy red background. And fortunately, we don't get any muddy colors. So I'm very happy with that. I also wanted to add gold leaf. I've got this thin brush and see if I can even apply it in a very thin line. Somewhere along the mid part. That's a super, super thin layer, I wonder, just to imitate those sections. It's easier when you add more of the liquid. If it doesn't work, I'll just have to redo it. Okay, uh, I'll add a couple more and then we'll wait 15 minutes and see what happens. I'm ready to use the gold leaf and what usually happens, I can't find the spots I want to put them on. So I'll show you one little trick. If you put it against the light, well, it depends what type of light, but in this side camera, you see the shiny lines? That's where the glue is. And now, moment of truth, we'll see whether actually those thin lines are enough or not. I wish, I wish it worked. If not, I'll just have to make thicker lines. I am so curious. <laughs> So that's the look at the moment. See what stays. Okay, this one is all right. That's a very pretty one. Oh, that's so pretty. Exactly the lines I wanted. Okay, that made me happy. That's a very long one. Okay, I am very happy with the outcome so far. I'll tidy up and I'll show you the results. love to hear what you think of this feather in the comments. It was so easy to make and I think that the results are just beautiful. If you enjoyed, consider supporting me on Patreon where you get access to extended tutorials every week and much more for just two dollars. If you really like this piece, you can also find the original for sale on my website. I hope you all have a great week and I will see you next Saturday for the premiere of my new video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye!